This is an instructional video for Dawn Enterprises to operate the elastic cutter. Step one for the elastic cutter is to take your roll of elastic that you wish to cut and slide it onto the holder rod. Some elastics will work better with the curve up or the curve down. For safety purposes, push back on the cutter to get it out of the way so you can prepare the tension slot. The next step is to insert the piece of elastic into the tension slot. To do that, you push this tab over and then pull the elastic so that the Velcro disengages. Feel for the magnets on the top and the bottom and place the elastic right underneath it. Then push the slot back into its place and make sure it's all the way over. You can tell if it's all the way if it fits nicely in the groove. Once the elastic is in the tension slot, pull it over a little bit so it's over the cutting mat. Next, replace the cutter into its home position. When the cutter is in its home position, the lift will engage the magnets and this piece will be out. To ensure that the first piece is measured correctly, take the lever and push down to cut the first piece of elastic. The next step is to set your length on the ramp. To do that, loosen these two screws and slide the stopper wherever you'd like. We'll set it to one foot. Use the T-slot on the clamp to ensure that you get the correct measurement. Make sure that the line where you want your measurement is at the front of the T-slot. To go grab the elastic, push this handle forward to open up the bottom plate in the clamp. Push it along the track until you reach the end stopper. Once you're at the end of the track, pull back on the lever which secures the elastic and slide back all the way until this hits the stopper. To cut the elastic, keep one hand on the clamp to keep the tension and the correct measurement and put the other hand on the leather, lever, pull down until the elastic cuts. Open the clamp again to let the elastic fall into the slot where you can reach in the front and rid of it. As you can see, we measured 12 inches and we got 12 inches out. To cut the same piece of elastic again, repeat the process by pushing the clamp, grabbing, pulling to the stopper, and cutting.